What's up guys, Creighton here from LogicLounge.com. Right now you're looking at my wonderful Nexus 7, but you're not really looking at Android. No, what you're looking at is Ubuntu and their new tablet slash phone OS called Ubuntu Touch. All right, so this is Ubuntu Touch. This is a developer preview right now, so this is for people to start developing for the platform get to know it and it has a lot of developer data already installed on it so as i'm scrolling through here this is an all touch responsive display that means that ubuntu is not looking to utilize physical buttons at all and that's why they've chosen something like the nexus 7 to be able to port over to it because it really doesn't have a lot of buttons the only buttons are on the side for the volume and the lock on and off but this is purely meant to be for all touch configurations whatsoever not even a home button everything is done with your finger. Now, for example, right here, this is my home screen. I can scroll up, you can see my frequently used apps, Facebook, the browser, Gmail, the phone, even though this is a Nexus 7, it's developer preview, so it's gonna be shown on the phone, of course. And then right here in this blank area will be your favorite people, so if you have favorite contacts or people that you like to contact most often, they're gonna be right there. Moving on, you can look at your favorite music, you can tap one, have it play. Of course, I'm not connected to the internet right now because my enterprise class internet here, uh, where this video is being recorded, doesn't really work with Ubuntu Touch right now. Uh, I should mention that Ubuntu Touch is not, and I repeat, is not a production version right now. That means if you're using, if you want to use this to replace whatever you have right now, don't do it. It's not going to work. This is for developers to stop to start developing for the platforms. So you can also see popular videos online and I can swipe through different pages. So like your iPhone, your Android, you can swipe through different pages. The middle page here was my home page. So this is everything that's important to me. In theory, you can customize this to whatever you want, but this is just the main landing place. Swiping one to the left is people. So that would be your contacts and swiping another to the left is music. Basically media is all over here on the left. Coming back over to the right, I can get out of here. There we go. So we're back over here. And one to the right would be apps. So here's all your apps. Shows your running apps currently. So you can see I have the gallery, camera, and the telephone running right now. We can see my frequently used yaps, yaps, yaps. You can see my frequently used apps, installed apps as well, as well as apps available for download. And if I, again, was on a better internet connection that wasn't enterprise class, I could download those right now and check them out. Moving another one is your videos as well. You can see that I'm fluidly touching this through different screens. So you can see how responsive this is, even on a Nexus 7. So as I said, this is all touch. It doesn't deal with a single lick of buttons. So how do you get to different pages? Well, you swipe from these corners or I guess these sides. So if I swipe a little bit over here from the left, you see that I, I open up applications. These are uh, frequent applications that I can scroll through and use. Again, it's kind of interesting to get started with it. You'll get better as you move along, but you can see I could open up Facebook. Although because I'm not connected to the internet right now, it's going to give me a network error like that. But if I keep going on here, I can swipe all the way to the left. And if I'm in an application, let's say I go to notes here. And if I'm in an application to quickly get out of it, I can just swipe all the way to the right and I'm back to my app screen, which is really cool. <laughs> Coming down from the top of here, we can see your messages. These are candid messages that are in here that they put in here by default. So you can see, you can scroll through these messages from, uh, it's a unified message center is what I'm talking about here. You can see I have messages from Skype in here, emails, uh, Facebooks, missed calls, but the thing is, don't worry, these aren't my contacts. These are contacts that Ubuntu put in here, so don't try you know, contacting them because they're not really, I guess, real people. But what's really cool is that this unified notification center is easy to get rid of stuff. You can just swipe to get away while I do this with one hand in an awkward position. You can see I can just start swiping them away and everything moves up. And down here at the bottom, I have a clear all button, so I have no new messages outstanding, which is very nice. And when you're pulling from the top, it actually depends where you're pulling from the top. If I pull over here during search, I can actually start searching uh, while maybe. Again, it's still working, so it, it could have a little bit of bugs in it. You can see I can get into messages, but you see over here I have stuff like audio, network settings, battery stuff. Well, if I pull down over a specific application or a specific thing here, I can see I can get sound 
And if I go back up here, I can get the network settings. I can also come up here and get battery info as well. You can see I'm currently charging uh, and I'm at automatic brightness right now. I can deal with that. So it's an all touch interface. And you come over here to this date and time. So you can see I'm in London shows uh, the times shows events as well. So that's that stuff. So it's, it's kind of cool. It, it does take getting used to. That's one of the things that I I'm, I'm really trying to struggle with right now is actually getting used to this new touch sensitive uh, way of things. Because I'm usually used to pressing a home button and going to the home and then picking something. But now I have to rely fully on all of these little touch gestures. So if I pull up here, you can see here that I can get, if I guess I could, if it works, if I go up. No, I guess, okay, this doesn't, doesn't work on the home screen, but I do know it works here. So you see this search glass right here. If I go and touch on it, again, I pulled up from the uh, bottom here. You can see that I have options per the application that I'm in. So I can open up new tabs in this. Uh, I'm in, I guess I'm in the Google Chrome right now. So I can open up favorites up here. I have all of these different settings that are per app basis. So I have stuff like uh, regular settings over here. Again, some of these don't work properly, so I gotta kind of finesse this. But you get the idea. It's it's a it's a nice uh, center here. You can use voice searching. Not sure if that's gonna work, but it's gonna try to use voice searching so you can search for applications. Because if you have a lot of applications, you're gonna you know lose track of them all. They're not gonna work all you know all hunky dory on your system. So it's kind of cool to work out. Um, again, you have a manually touch and let's see if I can turn this here without too much of an issue. Maybe, maybe not. Okay, so maybe it just likes being vertical right now. But again, this is more for uh, a phone centric OS, even though it does have tablets, uh, it still is in that development stage, like I said, of uh, everything working and properly. One of the big things again is the network, but you can see here that it's kind of interesting to use. And I kind of like it. It works. It um, it's something that's definitely much more interesting than uh, what we see out there right now with other applications. So definitely, if you have a device that you could possibly get this on, go ahead and try it out. I mean, it's what you you need to unlock it and you need to download it and you need to install it. Not very simple. Or actually, it is very simple. Excuse my words here, since I don't want to redo this video. I'm just going to keep talking. I'll iron it out. But basically. Check it out. It's really cool, very intuitive. Um, again, some things are still cattywampus, but it's something to try out if you're interested in Ubuntu, because I know a lot of people are interested in Ubuntu, and those who are interested in Ubuntu are mostly interested because of all of its developer features, uh, all of its fun stuff. So it's something that is worth a try, especially if you're a fan of these types of games. So let's see if I can play Ski Safari here, maybe. Nope. Okay, well, I tried. You can see it's very, it's very developer preview -esque, but as the, ve the versions keep going on, we'll see better versions coming down in the future, more usable versions. Right now, this is the developer version, so this is mostly for people who want to use it to, to develop their application starting now, so that when Ubuntu comes out with a final version in a couple of months, or even a year out from now, uh, it'll work. Very cool. So, check it out. If you have any... Uh, questions for me, email me, creighton at logiclounge.com. Again, I guess I didn't mention this. This works on four main platforms, the Galaxy Nexus, the Nexus 4, the Nexus 7, and the Nexus 10. So if you have any of those, this will work natively right off the bat for it. Again, it constantly gets updated, so be sure to keep that in mind. If you don't know how to install this, go ahead and check out our YouTube channel. We have a full guide on how to install Ubuntu Touch right on your Nexus. You can see it's 13 degrees Celsius in Las Vegas, which is kind of, I guess, off maybe. But who cares? Anyways, again, my name is Creighton Miller. As I said before, you can email me again, like I said before, Creighton at LogicLounge.com. Follow us on Facebook. Follow us on Twitter. Follow us on Google+, Plus. all under the username of Logic Lounge. Be sure to like and share these videos. Be sure to subscribe, plus one. Do all you do to get these videos out to help share it. We always appreciate that. Thank you very much for watching. My name is Creighton Miller. And until our next YouTube video, we'll see you guys later.